see this? This is an age line. Dumbledore drew it himself. <sighs> so, a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a Dodger's pathetically dimwitted as an aging potion. Fear of a name only increases fear of the thing itself. Books, cleverness, there are more important things. Friendship, bravery. I mean, it's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Hey guys, it's Aileen here. So today I'm going to be filming a Hermione makeup tutorial because I realized the only one that I had on the channel was the Yule Ball makeup and it's very different from her everyday makeup. So here we go, let's get started. So to start, I'm gonna do foundation. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow foundation just with a brush and just applying it all over my face. Next I'm going to use my concealer, this is the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, and just going under my eyes and all my blemishes. Now I'm just using an eyeshadow primer, this one is from NYX. And just my everyday powder. Next I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light eyeshadow palette and taking that contour color and just going here in the inner corner of the eye slash bridge of nose area. And also shading on the ends of the eye going in an upward angle. Now I'm just contouring my nose a bit making it narrow and also going underneath the nose to make it look more upturned and going in the nostril area also making the nostrils look more upturned as well And just rubbing it out. I'm also taking a small angled brush and just going in the corners of the mouth and in the cupid's bow area. And then I'm taking that contour color under my jawline. And then that color right next to it, which is like a creamy peach color and just going in the same areas under my jawline and also in my cheekbones, just to give my face a bit more color and depth. Next, I'm taking that purplish color from the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette and just taking that in the crease. I noticed that she tends to have cooler toned colors in her eye area. And then I'm taking it a tiny bit underneath and then using that brown color to go under the eye. Making sure to leave a space though because her under eyes tend to be a bit puffy. Next, I'm taking a brown eyeliner and just going on the outer corner of the eye and in the lash line, making a soft flick. And 
and then underneath the eye as well and just smudging it out with my finger. I'm also taking it in the inner corner of the eye uh, in the waterline just to give it more of a sharp look. Next, I'm using this white pencil to create depth. So I'm just going there in the tear duct area in my cupid's bow, uh, underneath my lip, and on the sides of my lips. And also underneath the eye to make it look more puffy. And next I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm just applying an everyday mascara. This is the NYX Worth the Hype. And it's very subtle, not anything too extravagant. I'm taking that contour color again and kind of smiling to make my smile lines show. And then I'm going under the eye also to emphasize that puffiness and also taking a blush color there as well. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm using this Too Faced Brow Envy palette and just using that darker brown with my angled brush. And I'm sorry you can't really see properly what I'm doing there, but I'm just making the eyebrow nice and thin and just a very slight arch. My eyebrows are naturally a little bit thicker than hers, so I'm just using that nude pencil to contour out some of the hairs to make it look thinner. Next, I'm just going to use a blush color with a small brush and just put it in the apples of my cheeks. This is like a rosy pink color. Next, I'm going to do the lips. So I'm using a nude lip liner pencil and my camera wasn't really positioned properly and it cut off like the entire process of me lining my lips but basically I just line them like slightly smaller than my natural lips and very angular and sharp. The next product I'm using is this Tarte Sugar Rush uh, Sugar Coat Liquid Lipstick and it's like a mauvey pink color and um, it goes on really subtle so I'm just dabbing it and then rubbing it out. And last but not least, I'm going to do her freckles, so I'm just using that MAC Brown Eyeliner Pencil. Make sure it's really sharp and just dab a lot of freckles over your cheeks and your nose, your forehead. And I even put some above my lip there because I noticed that she had a few. And that's it. That is it for the makeup. It's super easy. I've honestly done it so many times now. So that's why I did it like pretty fast. But I hope you enjoyed. And as always, if you use my tutorial, make sure to tag me. I'm on Instagram at a little android. I would love to see what you do. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So, a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled. <laughs> a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a dot as pathetically dim witted as a... Oh my god. Oh my god. Fooled by a dot as pathetically dim witted as a... <sighs> it's probably not even recording. <laughs>